Oh, got him. Oh. Well, missed one the cast before. No way, I've got a double. That's two. What's up everyone? I'm just idling down what has to be one of the prettiest lakes uh, in mainland Australia. It's absolutely stunning here. Uh, we're out chasing some brown and rainbow trout today. So we're gonna head down the lake here, set some drifts and uh, yeah, try and find some. All right, so today I'm fishing with my uh, my 10 foot seven weight rod. On that, I've got my Orvis cassette reels there so I can change lines quickly. The line I'm starting with is the Scientific Angler Seamless Density 1.3, so type three sinking line. Just because the boat's gonna be moving a lot, we're getting quite a fast drift. I can fish it at a range of depths, high, let it get down, really versatile line. And then fly-wise, what I've got rigged up at the moment, I've got a damsel uh, and a streamer, but I'll probably go to maybe like a damsel and a traditional wet fly. It's still winter, but springs kind of come early. You know, everything, bottles are flowering, um, things are warming up, so it wouldn't surprise me if fish are up and about, a bit more insect activity, they're gonna be looking to eat some other stuff. So yeah, as I said, we'll set some drifts and uh, yeah, try and find some. Come in here just to hit some nice edges. Drift along the shore here, looks really nice. Nothing's changed, it's just shuffling to uh, to find some chances. Go on, eat it again. Oh, got him. Oh, that fish ate it three times. Oh, unbelievable. Just savage. Oh, very forgiving brown trout. Oh, come on, matey. On the damsel on top. Well, there we go. Nice brown trout. Nice silver guy to start. That's awesome. Pop the damsel out. And that guy's away. All right, we're just gonna tick down this beautiful rocky shore here. The wind's blowing like across it, so you can kind of see the water movement down. This wind will kind of allow us to go diagonally in, out, in, out, which will be really good. Got him. Oh, what a take that was. That brown, like, <laughs> leaped over the top of that. That was beautiful. Another one on the damsel. When you find them on this lake, they just cream it. Such strong fish for their size. Gotcha. Thank you, buddy. Beautiful brown, look at that guy. Super healthy, fit, strong. Such a nice fish. Pop that fly out. Nice fish. Thank you, mate. I do really like this diagonal cast out across to the bank, just because I cover so many different depths there. I hit, hit the rock or the sand on the edge and then can fish it like off the shelf. Really, really good water covering cast. Whereas if I cast straight down the middle here, essentially I'm gonna be recasting and recovering that water over and over because I'm gonna be drifting onto it. So 
and it does catch plenty of fish but I do find I love using the angles as much as I can Oh, it was behind it too. Dangs. Oh, got him. Oh. Well, missed one the cast before. No way, I've got a double. That's two. Two browns. That is crazy. The big T is always to land one and then do your best. Oh, no, to land the second, but didn't get him. <laughs> that is awesome though. Oh, nice one. Another one on the dams. <laughs> ah, so tempting when you have a double on to go, I want them both, but if you hadn't hooked two, you'd just be like, just net whatever you can. You've woofed that, mate. The fish feel rather up and about in these conditions, which is great. I might just check my hooks. Yeah. Go on, oh, go on, eat it again, got him. That's a good one. That was amazing. I saw that fish charge across the surface for that. Oh. Beautiful fish, great brown. Spring has so come early. The fish are just up and about and they're on the edge. So good. Come on, mate. Oh. Gotcha. Another lovely trout. That's the first one on the point fly, which is cool. Gonna be another down through here. Got to be. These fish have been loving like being just, just off the edge. They're like not tight to it. They're like on the, almost the color change. Like that, oh! Come on, come back. You for real? That fish like ate the flies and then I saw him shoot to the left and he just didn't have them. Got him that time though, same fish for sure. I have, oh, I have no idea what happened the cast before, but that's where they're at. They're on that change, like that transition kind of shelf to the bank, but like not tight to the edge, but pretty close to it. Come on, mate. Oh. Gotcha. No way. 
<laughs> you see that brown like eat that like a dry fly? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> This place is ridiculous. That is super, super cool. Wow. Thank you, mate. Got you. Oh. Jeez, that was a nice take. Oh. Come here, buddy. You know, a rocky shoreline and a point, so reliable. Oh. Come on. Oh. Nice fish. Just a lovely, lovely brown trout. Look at that guy there. Well, driving out after stopping in for a bit of lunch, um, this morning was really good. This morning was really, really good. Uh, it wasn't good where I was down in the really windy stuff where I started, but I came up the lake and it, it fished really well up on the edges. Um, you know, the fish were up, they were high in the water, which was good. I ended up standing up and fishing because a lot of the times they would respond to my flies hitting the water and they would be onto them. So I wanted to be able to see that so I could fish to them. And, um, and I just had to ultimately fish short. The longer I fished, I kept shortening my line because if the fish are gonna eat the flies soon after they land, you may as well fish short. There's no point in casting it way out because um, you know they're gonna eat it whenever the flies land or thereabouts. So yeah, really good. It's calmed off a little bit this afternoon. Like looking down the lake, it looks really nice. So uh, we're gonna keep doing the same sort of thing, but just roll through some other water and uh, yeah, try and catch a few more. But it's been really good so far. It's a lot calmer down here. We still got the rolling waves from down the lake, but hopefully the uh, drifts are a bit slower and more controlled through here than when I came here this morning. I say as the wind just picks up. <laughs> Come on, it's such a nice rocky point here. Got to be on it. Get one right in onto the rocks there. Got him. On the hang. Oh. That was like a sharp junk. Right on the hang, off the point. Come on, buddy. That's a nice fish. Look at that, lovely, lovely brown. That was such a, you know, uh, it was blatantly obvious. It was just a really hard thunk. Like, it was like I was brim fishing with a soft plastic. Come on, mate. Oh, you're right. Cheers, buddy. Nice little damsel eater. Oh, did you see that? Got him. <laughs> oh, that's a great brown. That thing like kamikaze at <laughs> the top. Wow. You wanted that, buddy. Great brown. I've actually gone double damsel since lunch and it's been, uh, feels good. Oh, calm down. Oh. You can settle down. Oh, 
chill out. The fish here go so well, it's awesome. Come on. Oh, I think you're done. Oh, there we go. Nice brown trout there. Lovely fish. Beautiful, healthy, long guy there. All right, just shimmied around to uh, fish through this little bit again because I kind of touched out after that fish. Then we had the big rain squall come in, so I put a jacket on, then I took the jacket off. So I thought, okay, let's come back around and finish this drift off properly. On the hang. Oh, jeez. That was the softest take. Almost on the exact same cast as the last fish. Oh, thank you, matey. Oh, that's a good one. What a take that was. Oh, geez, that was a beautiful take. Great fish. <laughs> Absolutely slammed that. Just as I was electricing back in, that was the first cast. No, stay on, buddy. First cast back in at the flooded vegetation again. Oh, what a brown. Big, beautiful, golden one. Oh, got you. That is a beautiful fish. Check out that guy for a beautiful brown. Good buck. All right, we'll get this lovely guy back. Here he goes. Well, all wrapped up and back at the ramp. That was amazing. <laughs> that fish so well especially for winter. We caught a lot of trout, which was awesome. Uh, kept it very simple. I fished the, uh, the damsel in a streamer the whole time, and then I went to like two damsels. So I had two olive flies on, or a black and an olive, or a brown and an olive. And as you saw, it was really good. The fish really felt like they were, you know, with the lake being so high like it is, they were up in that flooded, uh, freshly covered ground, like that new vegetation. It was just really, really good. So much fun. So a couple of days here in the Grand Pins. I did Bell Hood yesterday, Warthog here today. Both great lakes. If you haven't been up here, you've got to come fish them. They are really, really cool. Um, and as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all very soon.